Um, I, I feel like for me it was during high school. Junior year, I took a mechanic class. And then from there, I just kind of started liking kind of messing with small engines and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And after that, I just kind of grew on me. And I very liked it ever since. All right, everyone, welcome back to the Modern Man Anime. Today we have Ricky. Ricky, thank you so much. Um, not only thank you so much for making the long drive. I really appreciate it, man. Yeah, I mean, you're very welcome. I mean, I'm really honored to be on your channel. You know, it's, I think it's a really good privilege. The honor is mine, dude. The honor is mine, 100%, dude. Like, the fact that you drove such a long distance, I really appreciate it. And that's, and this is not a joke. He drove from far away. So I definitely appreciate you so much, man, for making yeah, the, I mean, the drive out here. You're very welcome. I'm happy to be here. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're happy to have you, man. Um, so I'm not going to talk too much shit civics today because you drove from <laughs> far away so not too much smack on on civics okay um tell us man what do you drive i drive a 2000 honda civic si 2000 honda civic si well i don't think it looks stock anymore but we'll get into that in a little bit <laughs> i think you you have some different plans with it where did the whole car modification bug start for you um i i feel like for me it was during high school okay My, junior year i took a uh, mechanic class Ooh! and then from there i just kind of started liking kind of messing with small engines and stuff like that mm -hmm. and after that i just kind of grew on me and i very liked it ever since how did you come about that auto class did you, did you just pick it or was it randomly given to you uh, it was just randomly given to no me shit. so i was like okay that's something different that i've never done and i was out of my comfort zone at the beginning really but yeah because i wasn't into cars or crazy uh -huh. like that and and after I did that, you know, I met a lot of cool students and my teachers showed me what to do and how to get started. And after that, I was like, okay, I, got, I like this, you know. And so this was junior year? Yes, my junior wow, year. Wow, that's a, but you never had like uh, magazines or anything like that? Um, I did look at some, mm -hmm. like back in the day, like the Euro magazines oh, and then some yes. of those JDM magazines. Mm -hmm. And I was like, oh, these are pretty cool. And then after I started doing this i was like okay you know i like this this is pretty fun so then did you, was it honda that automatically grabbed your attention uh, or like so now that you know how to you know change an oil yeah, let's say actually how my, did that start my first car ended up being a 240 s13 chassis how did that come about um my dad his friend was like hey uh, i got i got this car for sale for five, 500 bucks oh back when they don't care about back that when they, oh, and he was like God. the only thing is it doesn't have uh doesn't have a cat it's all test pipe i won't pass mog like <laughs> don't worry about it you know we'll we'll figure it out yeah. and that's the first car ended up driving oh my back goodness. in high school and i was like okay this is that automatic is, stick shift it's actually a stick shift wow and so luckily my dad kind of showed me how to drive stick shift and i picked it up really quickly mm -hmm. and then after that i was like okay this is this is different wow and it's nice so but so that's the, the first car what happened yeah, to that was car? The first car um so one of my uncles came and he liked it and he was like i want it oh he knew he knew so i mean i was like my mom was like well just just sell it to him and we'll find something different uh-huh i was kind of bummed you know because i ended up liking it yeah like yeah these are, are nice or cool oh that sucks man and i was like all right that's fine so we ended up selling it to him and i think probably six months later i picked up my first honda so so as far as you said that that uncle is not gonna get a shout out at the end of the video no, right yeah okay no. <laughs> you get but, mad already you yeah. know you want me call that guy right now <laughs> right i'm something anyway i'm gonna call that guy right? yeah uh-huh so then um six months you buy why yeah we ended up getting a em1 coupe from a dealer like an a legit em1 like a legit em1 but uh i guess the previous owner who had it painted the car like a pearl white that guy's not getting a shout out either. I had, I had like a pro wide. Uh -huh. The bumpers were black. Um, the seats were kind of like a custom, like that early 2000 Fast and Furious, like a okay. blue and gray cloth. So I was like, I mean, this is different. So I was like, oh, okay. Man, that's a big change, dude. It is. It was completely different. I was like, okay, you know, like I'll drive this. And, and I ended up liking it. Like oh, the whole okay. VTEC and all that stuff. I was like, 
these are like a lot simple to work on than the Nissans. Oh, okay. And after that, I was just like, okay. But I feel like six months later, I wrecked it. Oh. I was street racing mm -hmm. and I was being stupid, young and stupid at that time. And I was like, okay. Now we're just stupid, huh? Yeah, we're not now young. Just stupid. <laughs> I mean, luckily, I mean, I was sent to the hospital. Oh, was that bad? Yeah, it was that bad because oh, the semi blocked the whole entire intersection. I and mean, then by the time we reacted, both me and the car, we were slamming their brakes. I pulled the e-brake and it's just, the, the Civic just literally hit the generator of the back of the semi and oh, that's what stopped it. And my God, So I'm just lucky and blessed to still be out here, you know? So. Wow. Oh my goodness. Well, I'm so glad that you, you were safe in that situation. And yeah. huge, huge life lesson. Do oh, yeah, not street race. I, 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 I highly recommend everybody Do not street race, definitely. Go to the track where it's safe, it's monitor, you'll have a good time, you won't regret it, you know, because I learned my lesson and I enjoy being at the track with Man. my friends and stuff, so. Yeah, you definitely look like you, you took it to the track, which is awesome, dude. Yeah. So fast forward, we pick up this EM1. Um, my dad uh, was looking for another one for me because I told him I want another one, but I want an original blue, Electron Blue Pearl. It was like, oh, no B. Okay. <laughs> like, so like, that's going to be easy, dude. Like, they're, so they're like, right around the corner. <laughs> so, like, I think probably a year later, my dad is like, hey, there's, I found one at an auction in Sacramento. Oh. So, my dad went out there with his boss and they went out there and they were bidding. So, I guess originally the car had kind of like engine trouble issues okay and so he was like hey the car has issues but we could fix it we i could we could get it okay and we could fix it so we picked it up for 4500 bucks i was about to say that the the price better you know yeah, yeah i take yeah, that yeah. into effect so 45 what year was this because this you, was probably you said 12 years ago right you own it yeah so probably like 2011 wow. 2011 or that's 2010 like, that's a 10. Somewhere around there. That's a really good bargain. Whoa, I mean, obviously there's mechanic yeah. issues, but that's a good that's a good number, yeah. And I mean, the engine original, I mean, the original engine that it had, it had sixteen thousand original miles. No way. So it was completely stock. It just had a small little engine issues, and I was like, all right. So my dad won the bid, uh -huh. and then they trailered it back from Sacramento all the way to Bakersfield, and then from there it's just. The mod starting slowly, but so what was the engine problem? You didn't even care. You just uh, you took it apart. Yeah, we took it apart, and we just kind of went. We just kind of went crazy on it. Okay. So we went with Type R pistons. Oh shoot! Yeah, so you guys weren't even concerned about what was the issue just to get it back and running. Yeah. You're like, we were gonna build it either way. Yeah, we were gonna like kind of do it wow. aggressively. That was my plan. I and mean. your dad's cool with all of this. Yeah, he was fine. I was Man. like, he was like, it's your money. I mean, yeah, that's I'm true. just helping Pay you. Pay my rent. You're good. Yeah, yeah, I'm just helping <laughs> you, like, bring it over and you go from there. No way. That's cool. So after that, the engine, once we put it all together, we kind of just drove it for 500 miles. And that kind of gave us issues. Mm. So I don't know, something probably blew on the, on the head. Okay. And then from there, I had to find an alternative mm -hmm. just to replace the long block. And so I went to HMO and I'm like, hey, I just, I'm just looking for a B16 close to the chassis miles. And they're like, I got one that is off probably like by like 2000. Oh, sweet. So I was like, okay, I'll take that. And I picked it up. And after that, the at engine had issues. Ah, so I was sucks. like, what the heck, you know? But I think after we opened it up, it had a firm valve. Mm. And then after that, it was just, we got it running properly for about probably seven or eight years. Oh, that's not bad. So it, it lasted a really long time. The front end, it has a charge speed lip. I mean, obviously the car gets driven pretty, pretty much it. everywhere. So You know what's funny? I actually love the fact that we have all these rock chips. I really like that. I, mean, I like that. I'm not looking for a perfect paint car. Like that's awesome. It means I mean, that the car is meant to be driven. Honestly, like I don't see the point. Like to tape it, I was like, it's gonna get damaged regardless. Like Damn, just enjoy. It's, it's like a true truck car, you know, yeah, guy. I mean, just enjoy. <laughs> it. And so yeah, I mean, it has a, a full charge speed lip. Um, has just racing front tow hook. And I can't remember the name of the air duct, that carbon air duct. I can't remember the name of it. That's and then. The hood, it's a charge speed hood. It's a carbon skeleton. 
oh. with the um, oh, what's the um, other material? Fiberglass. Oh, it's so fiberglass. it's carbon and fiberglass combined. Okay, that's really good. And for the front end, that's pretty much pretty much it. It looks very nice, man. Got that rival machine, uh, old school yeah. tribute emblem. Man, it looks beautiful. And then uh, side skirts, mirrors. Oh, side skirts are, I believe, a three inch PCI. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously that kind of got damaged, but well, I mean, that's track duties, you know. Is that going off track? No, that's actually, uh, I think I must have hit something. Just so kind of just slightly bend it. Oh, okay. Um, APR mirrors, which I thought they were going to be really hard to see, but actually I'm, the visibility is actually uh, not too bad. I don't know about not that, but bad. okay. I mean, for myself, I <laughs> Keep lying to yourself, Ricky. Whatever, <laughs> whatever keeps them on, right? <laughs> okay. But I mean, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it for the, for the side of the car. Suspension pieces, what do you got going on? Uh, suspensions, I am running Skunk 2 Pro Ace 2's coilovers. Okay. With, uh, Pro Series, Skunk 2 Pro Series camber kits on the front. And I think in the rear, I am running PCI rear camber kits. Okay. With Checkered Sports uh, toe arms, mm. uh, heart from hard race. And then I am running BWR control arms, those super bright fluorescent yellow. Mm -hmm. to kind of match the ASR um, fluorescent yellow, their limited edition um, color they had, they nice. came up with. And then it's running a block, some um, sway bar. Okay. Which we kind of slightly had to modify to make it fit properly. But after that, it hasn't given me any issues whatsoever. Do you modify the sway bar or you modify something in the uh, mounting points? On the mounting points, okay. just to make it fit properly because it says it's was for the car and when we tried putting it on it wasn't properly fitting mm. properly and i was like maybe it was for the dx models they don't think that the si maybe. the si model dudes are gonna <laughs> you know be messing with their cars i don't yeah, know yeah so i was like okay i mean we made it work properly so after that we we're like okay you know like and you you felt the no we feel it like i felt that the day we took it to round two of vtech club i was like now this car handles really good nice braking system what do you got going on so i'm running a four piston woodwood caliper system from the front with wheel wheel pads. And then on the rear, I am one, uh, running a stop tech rear rotors. Okay. With uh, OEM pads. Okay. And that's pretty much. And it's stainless steel with brake lines all the way around. I think from Good, good Ride or Good Ridge or something. Good like Ridge, that. uh huh. And I mean, so far it's really good. But this is more than enough. It's more than enough, more than an ID. Yeah. The car handles really good and it stops really well, so. And it sounds really good too. So tell us a little about your exhaust system. What do you got going on? So the exhaust system, I have an Apexi mid pipe with the spoon N1 modified to fit the pipe beam mm -hmm. perfectly. And then the headers, I'm running a Comtec. Okay. Uh, two and a quarter inch pipe beam. And then the mid pipe, it's two and a half. So it sounds slightly more aggressive no cat i mean no cat resonated Oz, yeah we, we can we can hear you <laughs> i could hear you when you turn on the car back in you know where you where you live i'm like yeah. oh he's he's on his way now <laughs> yeah yeah no, it's no, loud no. man yeah it's pretty loud it's but, awesome though you know i mean i've been state ref and i went with this setup and after that i was like okay so this is a quiet setup this is a quiet oh setup goodness <laughs> <laughs> Ricky, what do we got going on, man? On the interior, I mean, we got a set of two sparkle seats. I mean, they're pretty comfortable. I mean, they all faded, but I mean, that car's meant to be driven, so it's not really a garage queen or anything like uh -huh. that. I mean, I wanted to keep it kind of like a JDM theme into it. Mm -hmm. So we did the uh, Diffy tech on it. I got a Ecliptek sequential shift light from Australia. Dope. And I wanted to match the tack, so I had to search for some really old school defi gauges uh -huh. in Japan, and I was able to get them. Relocated the radio to the bottom. Wow, I didn't even notice the radio was down there. And then it has a K-Tune shifter with the Chicken Sport shift knob and a Circuit Hero center plate. Very clean, man. Just, it's, 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 I just wanted to keep it simple, nothing too crazy. Just <laughs> nothing too crazy. It's so it's it's crazy, but simple at the same time. Yeah. Man, rear seats, everything's there. It's beautiful, dude. Thank you. Wow. 
Any future plans for it? Um, I wanted to put a roll bar, but I feel like having it the full interior and stuff like that, I'll just probably just keep it the way it is. I mean, I, I mean, the only thing I'm gonna replace is a, a steering wheel that I'm getting for a Narita dogfight. Uh huh. That just should be here sometime this week, hopefully. Okay. But other than that, just just keep it simple, just enjoyable. Keep just, it as Yeah. Well, let's let's talk power plant and see what uh, yeah. we have going on. You, you say you have a K shifter, so that means you have a K. <laughs> there has to be a K in there. I mean, there's otherwise you there's no way, right? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that's why everybody says K's the way. I'm like, I don't know about that. Is K the way? I don't think K's the way. We'll see. I don't see. think so. Not if you want to keep it reliable. Oh my God! Damn! <laughs> You're gonna have all these people. Did he just say K's are not reliable? <laughs> la, la. Oh, the end of the world, man. Okay, Ricky, this looks very, very clean. Obviously, the B16 said bye bye. Yeah. Um, it, I know, you know. So then, what are we looking at, man? So uh, we have a high compression B20 from my friend's old setup. Mm -hmm. Everything stock. I mean, just the only thing that was replaced was just gaskets, uh, valve adjustment. Mm -hmm. I mean, every, other than that, everything's just it's stock from the engine, from the internals. Mm -hmm. I mean, the only thing we added was a, a bigger throttle body, a bigger intake manifold. And what's a throttle body? Do you know? It's a seventy. Okay. It's a seventy millimeter. That's bigger, yeah. And then, yeah, I mean, even the injectors are stock. Okay. Stock injectors, because the idea was to keep it reliable as possible. Mm -hmm. And I took it to a track, and not a single hiccup whatsoever. Mm -hmm. It drove really good and back, so that was the goal. Mm -hmm. Once I took it back, what the goal was to bring it home in one piece, and I made it. I made it home in one piece, and. I was really happy with that. Did you, did you lose a VTEC on the way home, or how did that happen? Yeah, I mean, I lost it at the track, <laughs> you know, last year. So. <laughs> no, this is cool, man. Extremely, very clean, dude. So, like, this is what Thank I like. You. The fact that you drive the car, you track the car, and the car still looks this clean, yeah. but it's not perfect. It's, it's nice. And that's obviously, good. Obviously, everybody's going to have their own opinion. I was like, oh, like, you don't have no longer have a VTEC head on it. I was like, yeah, for now. But for now. later on, I'll probably get a b16 head and just do a b20 b take on it but for now i'm happy with it you know it's it's reliable um it's really actually really good on gas so i was like okay you better be a good on gas don't be taking it so it's way better on gas and i'm really happy with it with the setup mm -hmm. how it drives mm -hmm. the reliability of it dope yeah you know so i mean obviously people are gonna say something i'm just like you know, it's okay for them to have their own opinion about yeah. it, which is, it's fine, you know, respectable. But uh, at the end of the day, it's your build, and the fact is that you did blow a engine at the track, yeah. and that's the reason why we have this. Yeah. And I'm assuming, um, what is the future plans? Uh, I mean, the future plans, probably later on, we'll probably put a... K24? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, for me, I would like to always keep it B-series. This car is meant to... Have a B series, and I like to keep it a B series. Dope, okay. So like, if I want more power, I will add a V tech head on it. Okay. But for now, I'm the idea is just enjoyment, have fun with it. Mm -hmm. You know, drive it everywhere. Obviously, you're gonna get things and things in mm -hmm. there, but I mean, it's meant to be driven. That's cool, you know, man. I mean, that's my goal to have fun with it, enjoyable. I mean, if people like it, that's great. If not, you know, it's great too. You know. I build it for myself and you know and I'm happy with it so love far. it so I mean 12 years of pretty much ownership I'm pretty happy how uh -huh. the car is now and how how it drives and stuff like that so I feel like this setup is probably the best setup I have right now love it yeah it's you cool know? man I mean enjoy whatever you have at the moment uh, but eventually you're saying you are gonna yeah, slap later in the B16 on, right? yeah later on we'll probably slap a B16 head but for right now I'm just enjoying it. I'm just and I don't know why, but you throw me as an NA guy too. Oh, really? Yeah, I don't know. No turbos, no, no anything. Okay. Just so NA. NA will keep it. Reliability. Yeah, reliability. I still want to keep the AC here and all that stuff. There so you go. NA is the best. That's the way, way to go, go man. Yeah. That's the way to go. Ricky, thank you so much. Like I said, man, thank you so much for driving this far of a distance. Thank you for sharing your story. Yeah, man. It's an awesome build. Me. 
definitely love the fact that you're building it for you regardless yeah. of what it is you know um please keep at it 12 years please tell me this car's staying forever as yeah, much as possible as of right now yes i don't have any intentions of getting rid of it you know buying a 240 <laughs> but no, no 240 so yeah Honda now, Honda now has been <laughs> for me for in the game for a while so i'm happy with it i mean probably the future plans were probably thinking of probably taking this to england because mm. i was probably probably moving out there okay <laughs> that's but, probably the first time we heard that in the channel that's what's but, up i mean it's still with COVID and stuff like that it's still kind of like up in the air but if things get better maybe you know because i got a lot of friends in england that i met through this car that, no way that i met in england that wow i met through this car in europe too and they're like dude bring the car you know like it's it's gonna be different because it's a left hand drive you yeah know, coupe and everybody there has a right hand drive coupe so i was like that's true you know but i mean we'll see you know they keep pressuring me like dude like you need to move over here the weather's cooler i was like i don't know about those winters though those winters are brutal <laughs> not a winter guy so but yeah I mean, hey it snows in bakersfield dude so you're that's used pretty to rare. That's you're pretty used rare. to it man go <laughs> the last time it snowed like a 99 or so but <laughs> but yeah i mean if things will kind of work out maybe we'll mm -hmm. probably ship the car to england maybe if not the car will stay here in california well still man that's pretty dope any shout outs uh, big shout out to my friend Mark for helping me prepping the car. I pretty pretty much did a lot of the work to this to the car over the years. He's pretty much the man that has gotten the car where it is right now. Mm -hmm. And I mean, who sh uh, also a shout out to Valley Tires for getting my alignment and getting the car prepped too. And just all of my friends around Europe, you know, especially in England, because those guys are always pushing me there was a time that i didn't really, really want to work on it anymore mm -hmm. but like dude don't stop just keep going you know just keep working on it and who shout out to tom peck and adam ivel over in england so cool i, I noticed you didn't say shout out to my uncle that stole my 240 oh, no, okay okay no, no and that you uncle know. man <laughs> <laughs> no but man thank you so much man i really appreciate you you just you know making the effort to come here and uh sharing your story and your amazing build and um Dude, I love it. I love it. Uh, it's funny enough, um, this was the first car I ever wanted. Okay, nice. EBP, SI, but there's no way I could afford it back in 09. Yeah. So, I mean, that's why when you said 4,511, I'm like, dude, they wanted like 8, 9. Yeah. If I, if I could remember, you know, correctly. And so, to see it, that somebody took it and started messing with it. Yeah. You know, we're not all purists, and I like the fact that you are taking this chassis and doing whatever you want with it. Yeah, you no, know definitely. What I mean? And um, for the better, for the worse, it's up to you. Doesn't matter. It's your build. Yeah. So, thank you for those uh, encouraging words. Because there's yeah, somebody yeah, out no, there that definitely. needed to hear that. You know what yeah. I mean? They might be thinking like, "Oh, I have an SI, but I don't want to, you know, yeah. you know, add this. <laughs> Who cares, man? Build it for you, and 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 whatever you know comes with it. But thank you so much, man. Yeah. And like, like I said, man, yeah. I cannot say thank you for driving this far. Yeah, man. yeah, you're very welcome. Also, I forgot, I gotta give a shout out to Moy over in Bakersfield. You know, he's always been really helpful, really supportive too, and stuff like that. So he's been also a really good friend. So. Moy's not your uncle, right? No, Moy. Cause he throws me as somebody who like, <laughs> will look at you and be like, yeah, bro, I'll take your 240. Shout out to the homie Moy. Nah. He's going K. He is K going all K. the way. Just make sure you check out his vlog, cause He's going K. You decided to pull the trigger on the K series. So I was like, should be all bad. Build to see. All bad. <laughs> Shout out to Moy. Um, but now, man, thank you so much, yeah, and uh, hopefully we'll thank catch you at the track soon. Yeah, definitely. Thank you for having me. And then uh... I was like, why does it sound so close? <laughs> Now I know why it sounds so close. <laughs> it's literally behind us. I didn't know where it was. I was looking for it. I was like, I where the either. heck is That's it? Crazy. I thought it was like a, like a dead end. I know, I thought too. But That's funny. Apparently not. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. I mean, last June, and the weather was like 110, so that wasn't really helpful. And mm -hmm. I misshifted, accidentally misshifted, mm -hmm. and that's where the engine blew. I had a Porsche right in my ass, and I got kind of nervous and misshifted, and RPMs went full, and then by the time I reacted, it was too late. Just, oh, that It's sucks. just blue. And then with this new setup, it's it's running a lot stronger. And it's a lot, lot stronger. Better. Well, that's good. I'm glad. I'm glad that um, it's still running, right? Yeah. Well, let's get on it, man. Tell us about the front end. What do you got going on, man? The front end. 
Hey, boy, got nervous. There's no Porsche behind you today. <laughs> it's okay. Um, the